What's going on guys, it is Wiles Dragon DSC year and it is Saturday, what's up, how you all doing? Welcome to another Blackman Rovers career mode, we are flying through this today, I have four games for you today, I'm going to sim the Norwich City game, just because we're going to be playing AZ, because that's literally the game we need to play and we qualify for the knockout stage of the Champions Cup, and then we're playing Villa and we will be playing Stoke City, and then what will be happening is, is that um, we'll have one more episode and then we'll be wrapping up December and we'll be going into the January transfer window and then what I'll do for that episode when the transfer window opens we will be um, doing a little opening episode to our aim is really in that January transfer window see what we can actually do but guys it's a cracking episode lined up for you today so we are currently second in the league one point behind Arsenal Rashford finally scored lately but our players are developing very very well at the moment like honestly players are constantly growing and everything and um we are playing norwich now so what i'm gonna do before i carry on talking i'm gonna sim this game against norwich and let's see how we do here we are at home as well they have lost their recent game but they did beat manchester no actually they beat brentford they beat manchester united they beat the middlesbrough honestly this is going to be such a close game um whether we'll actually be oh we've been three 0 rashford scored two balassi got himself a buck in townsend Got himself a go as well. Samido got taken off. Surprisingly, I wonder why. Maybe when did he get taken off? When did Samido got taken off? 65th minute, and we conceded in the 40th. So maybe he wasn't playing too well. I'm not too sure there. But anyway, a very, very good result. You can see Manchester United also lost. And I think we might have just met a target. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send this training session. I want to try and get Declan John to uh, get a bit better, but he literally just isn't improving at the moment. Oh, there we go. As I say that, he's now 79 rated. He finally, that duck has finally been broken. So hopefully he'll, play, he'll develop a bit more now and he will get to 80 rated very, very soon. Burn played against former club. I forgot we sold him to uh, Norwich City. Um, I don't think he scored, did he score? Um, but anyway, right, I, should, I think we've met a target as well, guys. I think we've actually met a target. We've got a youth squad report as well. Only one player. He's not 16 yet. I really want to bring him into my side. Because our youth development at the moment is quite key. Um, we have already got a left-handed side. Uh, left-handed side player, so it's kind of... Mm, I don't know. Like, do we really need him? But you know what? He's a youth player, so we'll keep him in our team. Um, but anyway, see there, players are improving just drastically at the moment and uh, i'm gonna have to drop one or two players like tammy abraham unfortunately i'm gonna have to drop the similar one towns i'm gonna drop as well i'm gonna bring keeps i'm gonna actually start uh colombo this game we bring keeps on um, and then we we'll just keep rashford on because rashford's just scoring at the moment for fun Oh no, actually, we'll take Rashford off and we put Sturridge on. And then we got a very fresh front three. Um, but um, do I give Benitez a run around? I don't know. Um, Barrios scored on his debut. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put uh, Benitez on for Townsend. Um, I'm going to leave that team as it is. Because I like to leave uh, the left hand side basically the same. I really need to bring back Roas. Honestly, it's, it's very difficult without him. Um, like, we can't just easily switch. Like, Benitez is a very good player, but he's not that amazing, if I'm truly honest. But anyway, let's jump in the game against AZ, and um, we'll see how we do. We're currently second, and we need to win. We need to win our game to actually qualify to the knockout stages, because Valencia... Jeez, man, they're dominating us, honestly. They're absolutely dominating us. Valencia two points behind us, basically. Go on, Sturridge. Left foot. Boom! Oh, it was off the bar. Oh, that was a kaboom, but no. Off the bar. Shizen, that was clearly going to line it up. Oh, took the flexion. Coming across. Yo! Oh my god, Simmerwin's missed. Simmerwin has missed. Oh, I thought we had that. I genuinely thought we had it. But he was just a bit too far on the back post. Freaking Palassi in the way. Oh, Declan John, the batter yoke go. Pick that out. What a goal. 58 minutes in. What a finish from batter yoke. I didn't know he could shoot like that. I actually didn't know he could shoot like that. But that was freaking perfect. I thought Balassi just met that up for us. But no, 
Delton John lays that off the bat of Yoko, and that is point perfect. What a goal. We're 1 0 up, and we basically just confirmed our spot if we hold this lead now for the rest of the game. That'll do it. We've beaten them. We're through to the knockout stages of the Champions Cup, and depending on how the result goes against. Um, Juve and Valencia, we could possibly go top the league. It's huge. I think Juve need to lose, and if Juve lost, we go top the league. That's the big thing. Let's have a look at the results. They come in. It's 2-2. I don't know where we would stand in the league. We've qualified at least. That's the big thing. We've qualified. That's fine. We've done it. We've done it. What a result. Okay, so big thing is now we have, been, we have advanced now to the knockout stages of the Champions Cup. We will be playing Bristol in the EFL Cup, which is big, which is absolutely huge. But we are playing Atletico Madrid in February. That's when the Champions League is back. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We'll be next year. We'll be playing them in 2020. And uh, without a doubt, we're playing so well at the moment. We are playing Aston Villa next game. And uh, let's see what we can actually do with our team at the moment. Uh, Daniel Sturridge, he's, um, uh, do, I'm going to drop Sturridge, you can put, oh, I'm going to put these two back on, as you can see, we're going to put Bartley back on, I think we're going to have to drop, uh, we're going to have to put Lascelles left back, um, uh, Batayoko, you can go off for Gary Gardner, I don't mind that, Emma Moore, you're going to have to come off, I do apologise, you're looking pretty tired right now, um, uh, for Andrus Townsend, and Balassi, you can carry on playing, if I'm truthfully honest, because I think you can hang it out there um, but anyway we're doing pretty well at the moment with our team um, I'm gonna see if we got a training session if we got a training session I'm gonna play it if not I'll play it next time no we play it next time but anyway this jump this game against Aston Villa in the nice Townsend good start oh damn it four minutes in what a start absolutely brilliant nice inside of Rashford finesse it goal Boom! What a finish. Very easy. Very, very easy. 1-0 at 37 minutes gone. In all fairness, we are really dominated. It's been played in the middle part, but that one bit of magic, a mistake from an Aston Villa throw-in causes Balassi to win it. He puts it inside to Rashford, and then we end up going 1-0 up in the Premier League. There it is. We've beaten Villa 1-0. Honestly, one of the most boring games of football I've ever played in my life. But what a goal we did score with Batayoko. Absolutely. Not Batayoko didn't play. <laughs> who scored? I completely forgot who scored for us. Oh my god, my mind's gone completely blank. Rashford scored a crack and goal. <laughs> and he almost got that chip at the very end as well then. Oh my god, what a mind blank I was. Anyway, some good match stats. We dominated again. Passing, right? Our main problem last season, right, was our passing. It was below 80, it was like in between 90 and 80, it was all below 80. And now we are in the 90s every single time. And every single time we're in the 90s, we win every single game. That's how it's going. December 14th ends in... Okay guys, so we did beat Villa. I'm going to have a look at the lead table and stuff in just a few moments time. But I want to do a live training session for you while within this episode. I want to make a jam-packed episode for you guys. Um, so we are going to do a training session. Columbo and Gordson... Um, oh, he was actually in our youth and he's 62 rating, he's only 15 years old so we want to be checking a few golds on him I could literally just sim him and they do pretty well but lately in our training sessions, in all fairness when we've had a decent player and we're not training the youth, obviously I know uh, Gordson would be very very difficult to train at we've done uh, very well, like we've been getting A's as I say that we miss um, and we miss again as I say, I completely jinxed myself now. But anyway, nevertheless, um, we've been playing pretty well. And I want to do, you know what, well, guys? We'll do a training session for you uh, while in a full episode. Because we do sim. Um, a lot of you didn't realize that I actually do these training sessions quite a bit. Um, but a lot of the time, we do tend to just sim it uh, more than anything. Um, well done, Rashford. The problem is, right, because we got such a good... we got a good goalkeeper. Like, but this is Batayoko and Sumido. I think, um, yeah, like like Colombo's just going to get constantly knocked off the ball, which is the only negative thing right now, is that that's what's going to happen. It's only going to be like little small 200 points, but then if we can put a through ball like that, that's very unfortunate. I don't think we're going to win that. Um, 
I wasn't paying attention. This is, to be fair, this is a lot harder compared to the what the chance creation they had last year. Uh, we got a shot. There we go. Come on, Colombo. Come on, Colombo. Charge forward and slot that into the back net. Nice. Here we go. We're doing a little better. Left foot. Nice. Off the bar. Very close. Colombo. Bicycle kit into the back net. He was offside, though. Square that across. Oh, bloody hell, man, Rashford. I thought you would have done a lot better than that. Nice shot. Good save. Inside. We're up to a C, which is pretty good. Hopefully, we can get an A. We've got 30 seconds to pull this out the bag. We do. When we start finding our momentum, we're, we're pretty decent. Like, we're not too shabby. Um, oh, it's all fair. Oh, my God. Come on. What, about, what an absolute moose. Shoot. Skied it. We got 12 seconds. That was 13 seconds, our play. Oh, good save. We should have done sharp shooting, to be honest, because uh, we all know he can actually bang him in if he wants to on sharp shooting. Come on, there we go. So, come, Columbo. Get up, yeah. Columbo, you need you on side. Colum uh, Rashford. Nice. Oh, he's offside. We got an A, though. We got an A. That was the end. We did get an A. That was the big thing. But this is a, a good one. He's got pretty good dribbling. His stats, right? With a low-rated player, what you guys need to realize, a little bit of advice, is that if you have a low-rated player who's like 60-odd rate or something, and he has very good agility, I mean, like, literally only about 70, like, he has decent agility. If he has that, then, in all fairness, you want yourself to a very, very good player. Um, nice, good start. Which is one of the big things that Columbo has. He has very, very good agility. Because the thing is, though, agility affects how you are on the ball, right? It affects how you how, how good your ball control is um, and everything. So we did get an A, I think, because we got bonus attempts here. But it affects how well you do on the ball. And even if your shooting is not too brilliant, what you can do with, when you have good agility is that you can get your player into positions that... Normally, a person with without any agility won't be able to get in there. You'll be able to control the ball a lot better. So when you do pass it, you'll be able to be like, okay, this is, I I know what where this is going, um, and I'll be able to con and you know for a fact that player is going to be going to be able to um, control it, which is absolute huge because you in FIFA um, when you do have low rate players, it can be a proper struggle. But if you see a few with like very good agility, then you're happy days. Um, damn it, that's not good. We're going to fail this. Damn it, yeah, we failed this. Unless we pull something out of bag for the next 10 seconds, I really do not know. No, we failed. Right, let's retry that drill. Um, we just got to be quick. Got to pass where you're facing. Damn it, see? Can't do that. God's sake, man. Oh, come on. Retry drill. Sorry, guys. Um, but, yeah, if you find a player, like, for example, McCartan that I've had in my side, of, he's out on loan at the moment just because he, uh, he doesn't get in the side. Like, we got enough depth uh, in the strike department, in all fairness. You cannot deny that. Um, same with Rittenberg. Well, we did sell Rittenberg after. Um but uh, anyway, so it goes up by 15 by the looks every time you do a successful pass. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, McCartan, for example. He completely, he's not good enough for the Premier League um, just because he's 60-odd rated. If he was like 70-something rated and he had that agility, he would have been fine. But because he's 60-odd rated, he's just not that. He's not brilliant enough. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, like... Um, like, McCartney teared up, like, the championship. He was getting goal after goal. We got an A there. And completely ruining every opponent that we had. And um, that's what... And the only good thing he had, he had, like, 80 pace, something like that. And he had good agility. His finishing wasn't too good. His finishing was... Um, I think his finishing was only about 50-something. So, 60. So, it's average. It's average for his rate, then. It is. Uh, anyway... Let's see what we can do. And that's a good. This is good. <laughs> this is a good start. Nice one. Nice one, Gorson. 
I don't know what foot you are, but you're going to slow him in anyway. He's got himself an A. Good start from Gorson. He did a better uh, Colombo. He is left footed because he's a winger. In all fairness. We're doing our Rondo again. Oh, God. I wish I didn't pick this one now, if I'm honest. Um, it is one of the good ones. If we get three A's, uh, five A's across the board, honestly, our team is going to grow drastically out of these two players. Like, this is the first training session this guy is doing. So, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Um... Nice. Good. Good. Oh, damn it. I think, basically, we lose the boner. Oh, damn. This is not good. We'll get an A on this. We might have to do it two attempts, so that's a pop. Oh, come on. Don't want to keep restart. Oh, we're going to have to redo it. We try drill. I'm not leaving with an F now. Just because we've done so well so far. Nice. Oh. God's sake, man. Why, why can't they all switch to um, Barkley? Nice. 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 And literally just passing it quick as I can because... If you drill it, it tends to pass just a little bit better. No! Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, we're only going to get a C. I don't want to do this drill again. I won't lie. I do not want to do it again. Because it, it, it'd be different if right, we nailed it first time with Columbo, but we didn't. We got a C. We literally got A, 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 C. Gorson improved quite drastically, which was massive, which I'm pretty happy with there. Honestly, can't complain about him. He's done that's a pretty good training session, in all fairness. Um, we got three emails though. We're not on track. Um, what's, what is it? Okay, it's all about this wage salary, salary at the minute. It's literally, they're kicking off about that all the friggin' time. Uh, performance review. Um, oh yeah, Argentina. A, a I don't. Oh yeah, we will. We, we're going to stick with Argentina because I want to do um, the, tra the World Cup. Um Thanks, boss. No problem, Declan John. We had to drop Declan John last game. But a profit, we're currently up like 100 mil. Like, we're doing so, so well um, at the moment. But anyway, we are going to be going into one more game, which is against Stoke City, guys. Um, I've extended my international career. I know I haven't played any games yet, but we, I want to do just the international tournament. So we're, I think we've qualified now. So when the summer comes along, we'll do an international tournament, which is... Oh, no, I think it's 2022, it said. So, we'll see. But anyway, as you see there, lead table. Have we got any top goal scorers? Who's in the top goal scorers? We have no one up there. Literally, Bartley's up there with four. I think Rashford's up there with four as well. Yeah, there he is at bottom. Uh, but anyway, right. So, as you see the lead table, we're still in second place. We do not play Arsenal until a while later. And they're unbeaten so far this season. What we Let's see what we can do. Let's jump in this game against Stoke. Easy to cope with by the defending team. Nice. Go on, Blassi. I'll do it. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Nice. Nice. Here. Nice. More. Slots it in. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Well done. Great goal. Oh. Well, we see it again. Honestly. Cannot explain. That's quality. What a play. More coming on. Good thing I'm on a strike on the wing. You know he can bang one into the back of net. We've beaten Stoke City 1-0. Honestly, it's a, we're winning a lot of games 1-0 at the minute. We're not dominating games. Like Passing-wise, we're doing very well. Possession, not so much. Shots, we're dominating. Goals, not so much. Anyway, it's a result we did on a cold, rainy day. Right, let's have a look and see where that's left us in the league. Arsenal have lost. No, they finally dropped some points. They have drawn a game. Um, and we now go one point above them. They still um, are unbeaten. And we still got the best. We got the best goal difference, right, in the league. And we've conceded only seven goals. And we've scored 27. Like, this season, season four is everything's coming together now. Everything that we've worked on for the past three seasons has all come together. Like last season, though, we were struggling with scoring and I think people just went putting goals in, but we had amazing defence. And this year, we've sorted out the attacking 
then and then we got the um bottom, well basically we got two free attackers um two attackers on the free to sort out that and now of course then we brought in rashford then we had a free goalkeeper we got a brand new defender so we evenly we boosted the defense up to what we needed a bit more to keep this seven goals after 16 games but then the front three has all been completely improved like abraham's now coming to his own everything is now working together it's like clockwork Will we get 100 points this season? That's a big one. We've got to keep up our momentum because Arsenal are right on our tail. And we don't play them until basically the end of the season again. I think that's our only loss that we've had. But what I want to do, I'm going to have a quick look before I end this episode at my career stats. Uh, let's have a look. Here we are. We've won one league title, two domestic cups. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all we've actually... Um... Wow. I thought we'd done better than that. Generally thought we did better than that. We've only won a total of three trophies this season. Like, what? What about the Community Shield? We've won that three times. Anyway, we've met literally every... We've done so well, honestly. We've done very well. We didn't win anything the first season. We didn't, but we've got... Look, Declan John. <laughs> we've had John... Since season one, that's why he's my captain, guys. But anyway, we had eight losses in our first season. In the let's have a look. First season, we had eight losses. Second season, we had 17 losses. Wow, <laughs> but we we conceded um 45 goals that season. We had Werner as well. Um, we brought in we um, then we got better in the season after, we only had 10 losses. We bought Gabriel for 40 million and then we sold him for 57 million. <laughs> Pretty happy days there. Now, in this season so far, we've lost one game, 120, drawn six. Samito, we've well, we're signing for this season, 25 million. We sold Casilla for eight. We're still at profit by like 90 odd million. But anyway, honestly, guys, we're doing very, very well and we're going to end that. Wait, there, what's my overall. We've only lost 36 games. I don't think that's bad. That's not bad. <laughs> 200. 300 odd goals each. For, for over double. We always win our games by less. But anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you all did enjoy this episode. Um, it was a jam packed one. A few emails. Appreciate listening to me. Jack Doyle wants to play more. Wants to. Uh, he wanted to play as well, but he did play. So, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you all did enjoy. Make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe for playing more content. And there's going to be a new little play review series coming out very soon. That's going to be every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I want to say thanks for your support. Woo! I do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B Sample with a dope ass beat And get the mic check, all the levels right